Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Friday, March 1st, 2024. The one and only Bucky standing behind me. I have a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I'm in Daytona, Florida. My voice is a little hoarse because yesterday I was screaming on some rides and attractions at the Florida Strawberry Festival. I think I strained my voice a little bit. Today is the first day, the first official day of Bike Week 2024. You see a lot of motorcycles. I'm inviting you to join me, shall you? I've been to this Bucky's here in Daytona a number of times, and I gotta say, this is the busiest and most hectic it's ever been. It is a beehive of activity. Making my way over to the Harley dealership right here off the freeway. They have a bunch of events going on, bike parking $10, car parking $10. I was instructed that once I'm ready to leave, pull the gate off, pull out. $10 to park over in this spot. Heading over to the complex right over here. It's 1.36 p.m. right now at 3. They're gonna have the Budweiser Clydesdales are gonna be doing a little parade through here. That's why I wanted to stop off at this location first. All right, I have made it in. I don't know how many different spots I'm gonna be heading over to, but I got a little bar set up right over here. Just kind of peruse around. Teddy Morse Daytona Harley Davidson, straight ahead. So the biker's did right up there. Oh, take a look at this skeleton right there. That's that's quite the shirt skeleton. There's also a few other events other than the Clydesdales I was looking online that are happening over here at this particular place. Yeah, this is located right off of Interstate 95. This place is also known as Destination Daytona. And you can choose whether you're a saint over here or a sinner. Get your photo in front of it. Oh, this is one of those moments that I kind of wish I had a motorcycle. You could get a bikini car wash over here. You got the uh, the girls over here in their bikinis. So stopping or standing, you will be towed. That mostly applies to you know, bikers. Years ago, I went to the main drag over by where the beach is, and I'll probably stop by there too. My buddy World of Micah, it was a torrential downpour, so it wasn't quite as hopping as this is. So I think I might swing by there a little bit later too and see what the vibe is like by the beach. Uh, this lot full, lot full. They're gonna be doing a spherical motorcycle ride. I think it's called the Circle of Circle of Wheel of Death, Circle of Death. A free biker Bible. That's pretty cool, right? I have not been on this property since years ago. I was in a local punk band years and years and years ago. 20 years ago, we played a show underneath here with a bunch of other bands. All right, that's what we like to hear. My name is Melvin Urias. By the soundboard, we have my brother Erwin Urias. We are fourth generation Glow with that third. The Glow with that third. Oh, yeah. With our friends for over 10 years, I've been traveling the world. Oh, 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 oh. 
This is mostly a, this is like where most of the motorcycles are parked right through here. All right, I want to introduce you to Dave. He's got a YouTube channel. What's your channel, Dave? Go to Dave's Crazy Trailer on YouTube and I pull a trailer behind my motorcycle. All right. Not this motorcycle, I just picked this up a couple days ago. It's a brand new motorcycle brand right new. here. Not even a hundred miles on it. Nah, you got some stickers here too, right? I do, yeah. There There's you my go. sticker for my channel. Dave's Crazy Trailer. Check him out, travel, travel vlogs and motorcycle vlogs. I'm starting to make my way this way because I believe the Budweiser Clydesdales are parked down here. All right, this is pretty dang awesome. One, two, three trailers of the Clydesdales right there. The world-renowned Budweiser, Budweiser Clydesdales. I've never seen them in person. I have been to where, where their farm is or where they're kept, but I've never seen them. Oh my gosh, look at this. How freaking cool is that? You get to see them doing a little parade. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is why I wanted to show up to this spot. Check this out. Everything else is just kind of extra, but this is like, man, this is cool. Getting all, gearing it all up here. Going to be hauling this little Budweiser Anheuser Busch trailer. So they got a patrol down here. Some officers. Cycles, all attached parking lots. On a bike places, so motorcycles. All right, evidently this is the 83rd annual world's largest motorcycle. Is that true? Isn't there another one in North, North Dakota that's pretty big also? Maybe Daytona is the biggest. I'm thinking of Sturgis. I don't know which one's bigger, but evidently, according to this shirt, this one is. Now the motorcycle washing is free. There's a little tip jar over there but I've just been informed that down this strip is where the Clydesdales are gonna be walking. I guess this is what you do when a stop sign is not supposed to be utilized. You put a trash bag over it. They got all the officers out, but that makes sense. I've never seen a trash bag over a stop sign before though. All right, met up with another group of YouTubers here. Bob and Tam's Excellent Adventures. I like that, another good logo. What kind of stuff do you guys do? So we mainly cover motorcycle rallies. So we travel all over the United States, picking them up. We actually went to Mexico a couple years ago. We might go okay. this year again. All and right. we give you out just great information. We show you where to eat, where to ride your bike, where all the vendors are at, where the concerts okay. are at. So we've been watching Adam for a long time. I heck, it's probably been, geez, seven years. I have a question, since you're motorcycle folk, let me ask you a question. What's bigger, this or Sturgis? Sturgis. All right, I, that's there what I thought. No okay, fair enough. Because the shirt over there says this is the biggest. Well, they always say this kind of thing. They say biggest it's the on the east coast. Biggest yeah, on the east. Yeah. I like that. And Put so a little asterisk next when, to it. When you look at it, is well, this is the first rally of the year. So what happens is if it's a cold east coast weather, Canada, all those people will come down. Okay. Now see, when they have Biketoberfest, it's not even a quarter of the people that's here now. Gotcha. Because the weather's been nice. That makes sense. Sturgis is always going to have a big crowd. Every year they only have one a year. I want to go to that one one uh, here. You should go. You'll yeah. Have good time. Oh, that thing's got a lot of speakers on the side, right? Look at that thing. That's like full of speakers on the side of that cycle right there. I've never seen nothing like that before. All right, I went ahead and grabbed myself a lemonade. I asked if they could put a little more water and less sugar than they normally do, and she said, "Yeah, I'll put a little more water and less sugar than they normally have." So I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to taste the difference, but yes, it tastes all right. I took a sip. It's a little delayed. The horses rolling through here. A little delayed, but. This this is the path they're going to be taking. It's supposed to be in three. It's like 
coming up 345 already. Well, I'm still waiting for the, standing here waiting for the Clydesdale, looking through my little New Testament biker Bible here. I looked up uh, kind of an easy one that a lot of people know, John 316 listed in there. There's no Old Testament in this, but John 316 right there. It might be the most popular Bible verse ever. I think everyone knows John 316. The preface of this kind of gives an analogy or a comparison to our last ride. People ask why we ride motorcycles. Last ride might not be riding a bike. We do natural causes, illness, car accident, walking across the street. That's a nice little preface to the, the verses there. A nice little analogy when it comes to our, you know, the last ride. It could be a motorcycle or it could be, could be anything. I'm thinking maybe the horses will come this way. You guys want to talk a little bit about why you do this? It's our ministry. We believe everybody has the option to get to know God. And uh, that's all in the Bible, you know. So we go all over bike rallies, handing out uh, the motorcycle Bible. Where are you guys located at? Where'd you start at? Uh, Murfreesboro, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Nice. Well, I got one here. around there. Okay. How many bike rallies have you done in the time frame of doing it? Myself? Uh, I've probably done a dozen. Okay. But uh, we go all over. All right. We've been to Sturgis, we've been to Laconia, we used to do Johnstown, Erie, Geneva on the lake. All right. Uh, down here. I haven't done too many bike rallies. If I, Would you say this is bigger than Sturgis or Sturgis is bigger than this? No, Sturgis is definitely. Sturgis is a big, All right, I'm taking a poll. Yeah. Well, thank you. I got one. I, right. I appreciate it. Thank you. This might be a pace cycle coming through. Yep, I think the horses are about to start making their way through. That might have been like a... Yep, I think they're coming in. Stay right here on this corner. Oh yeah. Good. They got this is kind of a big deal for me. It's, I mean, it's grand scheme of things. It's not like life changing or anything. I've always seen them in the commercials, and of course, one of the most iconic moments and memorable moments is the commercial after. 11th of September. I mean, just seen these horses on TV my whole life. Freaking awesome. Iconic. Oh, there's the dog at Dalmatian up there. Throwing out beans because it's gonna be Mardi Gras. That's freaking so dang cool. And now say I've seen them in person. Drove by their ranch a few years ago. I got to see them in person now. Mike Week. Epic. And now Braveheart. The crossing of the groups of people. Check out these little, uh, little short shorts right here. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait a second. Okay, they are going down the main vendor area where everyone is. They must have gone down that first road, then the loop around. So I'm gonna get another one over here. All right, so they just were taking that and they're going one way around the loop and then back through it this direction. Ah, okay. That makes sense now. Catch him, catch him twice.
over towards where the motorcycle stunt show is going to be at 4.30. Right now it is 3.58 p.m. Man, if one of those things kick backwards, it would not end well for whoever's standing close to their, their legs. Those things are huge. Please move back from the side. start winding it down start heading on out I think I'm gonna I don't think I'm even gonna go to Main Street I saw and did so much I think I got a good fill of the very first kickoff of bike week the first day of bike week nice little kickoff man I had a lot of fun I saw a lot of cool stuff all right that's gonna do it for today from bike week 2024 the first day the first kickoff of bike week walking back to my car gonna head home it was fun. I like to experience things I'm not super familiar with, but I have a moderate interest in from afar. This was exceeded my expectations today. The last one a couple years ago was over on Main Street where a lot of bikers congregate, there's vendors and things like that, a lot of bars. That was a lot of fun, but it was man, it was torrential downpour. This was a little little more activity happened. Nonetheless, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. It's over.